Despite venue closures and delayed reopenings, comedians have continued with their craft while the world battles COVID-19. But laughter during a time of distress can be sensitive, a sensitive road to navigate. In tonight's cover story, WGN's Anna Bellaval has more on how comedians are keeping their punchlines on point during the pandemic. The past two years have been challenging for everyone, from the pandemic to politics. Now more than ever, people are looking for things to make them laugh, to put a smile on their face. So how do the comedians do it? How are they finding humor in times of COVID? And are they worried about pushing the envelope in what many call a cancel culture environment? We asked them, and this is what they said. For 60 years, the Second City comedy shows have thrived in audience participation. You can't ignore it. It's a wretched. It really happened. It's a wretched. But the 2021 season, with its COVID safety restrictions, has challenged the breaking of the fourth wall during their main stage production, Together at Last. We have like a little moat of 10 feet between us and the audience. There's COVID safety protocols and the audience is masked. Show director Annalise Toft says that has pushed their creativity further. Well, I think that really led us to, to ask ourselves, how can we really find connection with the audience? So this show, we incorporated improvisation and text messages that the audience gets to send in that appear on the walls that we incorporate throughout the show. Because we're really just looking for any way to make us feel like we are not to be cheesy, but to, we are together at last. The main stage show opened officially in October after a few months of workshopping the material in front of audiences to see what worked and what didn't. There is fatigue and people want to escape. And also we thought it would be negligent if we didn't talk about it. What we had to find was a way to, and this is sort of a cliche theater term, but we had to show not tell. It wasn't that we pulled the content out, it's that we adjusted our tactic to make sure that it was fun even while we're talking about those things and that it was relatable and that it was human. During the summertime, all my friends are all like, look, the bugs, the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes. I'm like, Poof, they don't seem to bother me. <laughs> I think the mosquito gets one good look at me and they're like, hey, keep flying, bro. Somebody does <laughs> dry. <laughs> keep flying, she's dry. <laughs> Chicago stand-up comedian Gwen LaRocca will also be adjusting her tactic as she gets ready for her first HBO stand-up special this year. Hey, how many of you guys in the middle of the when you were a kid made the mistake of asking your mom what you did wrong? Even though Gwen's material has always been about her life experiences, she is aware that we are living in more sensitive times, and she's okay with that. It's good that society is a lot more aware about inclusivity. We need that. We need to be a bit more mindful of our, of our neighbors and, you know, our, our commie. We're all human beings. We need to be mindful of one another, period. So in that aspect, I think it's great. But on the same token, like you're saying, it has made me kind of, you know, where you're in the flow of writing some stuff, and then you're like, oh, my God, this is, oh. Somebody might find that offensive. Gwen says she will continue taking risks on stage because that is what comedians do, but always conscious that what she says in the comedy club may not stay in the comedy club. The times are definitely different. You gotta be a lot more hyper aware of, of your, your audiences, you know, especially with social media. You know, you think you're doing a small room, uh, you know, somewhere in some, you know, wherever in Chicago and thinking, ah, who's going to see that? And then all of a sudden you're viral on TikTok for being some offensive person. I would argue that love is more psychotic than the word psychotic. Like, if you look on a crazy chart, be like, insanity, psychotic, love. <laughs> like, love make you slash tires and burn down people's houses. <laughs> Exhibit A. Stand-up comedian Kevin Bozeman has been teaching his stand-up comedy class at DePaul University for 12 years. Put the guns for Ethan! He has definitely seen a change in what his students find funny throughout the years. I show them lots of different stand-up comics, and some have lost their favor within, within the populace. So I have to now make sure I make a speech before that and tell them, look, I'm going to show you people that may not be your favorite people anymore, but I'm not showing you them because I am trying to tell you, like, I support what they do. I'm showing you because they do something that's a teachable moment in this class. I told my son, like, ah, man, I got COVID. He's like, well, I guess I'm not going to be able to hang out with my friends this weekend. 
Yeah, man, I mean, that's the only reason why I got COVID, to prevent you from doing that. Kevin, who has been touring the country doing stand-up for 20 years, says we are living in the most politically correct era right now, but it didn't catch him by surprise. I noticed, like, seven, eight years ago, I would say a joke, and I'd be like, mm, that's not the response I used to get when dealing with that material. And slowly, everyone was just like, nope, we no longer want to hear these words. We don't want you to talk about these things or have this point of view. And you have to... You have to evolve. Doesn't mean that you don't have to, you have to change your point of view. You just have to learn how to manipulate how to get your point of view across. And that's what all the comedians we interviewed agreed with. Just like in life, you have to evolve with the times if you want to stay relevant. But that doesn't mean you don't take chances to get the laugh. The comics are still going to push the envelope. That's the name of the game. We push the envelope, we hit the stage, and we put things into words that most people probably wouldn't say. If you look at it from this simple thing, you're just using words to elicit a response. That's it. You don't have to, there's no hand to hand comeback. There's no military training. You're just sharing a story to get a laugh. That's it. Fascinating look there. Still ahead for you tonight.